Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this Freddy Krueger inspired decoration for Halloween or for just the average fan. These are the items that you will need. When using hot and sharp objects, please use adult supervision. Okay, and to start this project, we'll need a piece of cardboard to about the size that you want, or a size that'll fit both the hat and the glove. Um, but I just got this piece of cardboard from a box from Home Depot. I believe it's size medium. Now what you want to do before you start is take your piece of cardboard and place your hat and glove where you want on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly trace out where they are because I want to put claw marks in it, but I don't want to do it too much into where it is, uh, where the hat and the glove are. So now that I have my outline sketch of where it is, one, now I know where I'm going to place it. Uh, however, this is going to be covered with paint, so just keep that in mind if you're using this as your only means of uh, measuring, which you don't really need to measure too much. You just kind of move it where you want it. But I'm going to start drawing some claw marks and where I want them. Okay, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I have three right here and three right here. I think I might do one more. Now once you have that, you want to take your X-Acto knife and just cut one part of the cut out. Okay, now that I have my scratches in and that it's all painted, I don't know how well you can see. There we go, That's that shows up. I think I might add another one later. And now I'm going to add some stuffing into the glove. Um, but I'm going to glue the glove down a little bit more because it kind of ripped off um, the holes. So I'm just going to glue it back down. In this part, I'm just talking about uh, how I filled the glove with stuffing. Toilet paper could work, tissue or scrap fabric would work. Um, and uh, I'm basically just saying that I'm going to glue the glove closed so I don't have to sew it for time purposes. And in this next clip, uh, I'm just showing you that I'm putting glue on the inside brim of the hat, like where the head is, uh, just so I don't ruin the hat too much. Uh, Freddy Krueger's what you know his clothes weren't perfect because he was set on fire so if it ruins the hat a little bit it's not going to matter too much unless you like it perfect which i wouldn't suggest using costume props in the next clip i will be showing uh that i'm just gluing the glove to the hat uh the only parts i really glued down were the metal bits of the glove um, and the very tips of the knives to the hat so I could really reduce uh, how much uh, hot glue I, I used. Uh, but since everything is pretty light, it stays up really nicely. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make really quick and simple Freddy Krueger or Nightmare on Elm Street fan art slash Halloween decor. Now, you know what time of the day it is. It's time to talk about the movie of the day, and the movie of the day is... Trick or Treat. This 2007 movie consists of four stories interwoven into each other, talking about the traditions of Halloween. And our cute little orange pajama friend named Sam is there to keep the traditions alive. And number two, as we open up another day in the advent calendar. And we got a bunch of candy, so I'm going to so I'm going to eat all my candy just in one sitting, probably all at the same time. You guys should like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all of my other social medias, which will be linked down below. And I'll see you tomorrow for another spooky video. Bye.